Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Thursday, the 11th of January, and I'm here with a two card tarot reading for you. It's also the new moon in Capricorn. And if you've been watching these videos every day, you'll notice that the energy has been really, really building for this new moon. So I have to say, I'm really excited about what cards are gonna come out for us. And I hope they give us a, an equally exciting message. Okay. Right, well, we have had lots of um, major arcana cards this week. Certainly the High Priestess has shown up a lot. But today we've got another one. We've got the Hanged Man. And that is linked with the Six of Pentacles. So, as we've been talking about this week, we've really been getting in tune with our intuition. I feel like the Pentacles are coming out now. For us to make some really practical steps about making our dreams a reality. I feel like this hanged man who is a bit of an acrobat actually. So I feel that that shows that she's quite used to being there. She feels quite comfortable in that position. Okay. So because she's so adept at doing that kind of pose, if you like, it's the idea that while there's this light whizzing around her head, there has to be a time when she needs to move and do something about it. And I feel that that time is now. So I feel like that we've been doing a lot of thinking this week, a lot of soul searching, a lot of working with our intuition and taking time to kind of think and plan what we're going to do. So I do feel that the hangman, not everybody likes the hangman, but I'm actually feeling a real calm energy about the hanged man. Um, and coupled with this six of pentacles, and pentacles are a very grounded energy as well. Um, so I do feel that this is saying to us, there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry about. You're more than capable. I mean, say this lady's hanging upside down and she's not bothered about it at all, is she? Think of all the really big situations that you've been in that you've just coped with and got on with. So whatever it is that you want out of this new moon's lovely energy, it is can become a practical reality. And I do feel that the Six of Pentacles is the practical element coming in now. So, by all means, do your, I know someone was doing a vision board today, you may want to write a list of what it is that you want to manifest this year, or paint a picture, or do something really creative, showing what you're going to do, or want to do, and put that out for the universe today, and I think that's amazing. So, this, the 12, the hanged man, in the major arcana comes before a transformation and of course if we're just at the beginning stages of manifestation then you're not going to see a transformation overnight i feel like these two are going to say take it slowly don't get disheartened if everything doesn't happen tomorrow i feel like this is a yearly plan you may be having a a year plan or a five-year plan in anyway you know something that oh, i don't know by the time i'm x amount of years old I want to have done this. So I feel like this is just go with that really nice steady pace because you don't want to burn yourself out and you want to be able to walk in line with the progress, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to someone. I'm noticing with these two hands here and the money, it's about money. This is not someone giving someone else money because if you look, it's wrapped up with the infinity sign there. So it's giving money out, getting money in. I feel like this is linked to services. Perhaps you're going to need to pay for a service now or pay for something to get where you need to be. Or perhaps you're setting up a business and you're hoping for money to start exchanging between people. There's an amazing book that I've read recently um, it's called um, Love Money, Money Loves You. Can't remember the name of the lady, actually. Sarah McCrum, I want to say. Um, and it's about that money is an energy. Money shouldn't be worried about or stressed about because it should be flowing freely between us all. And obviously, some people do feel like that doesn't happen. But if you can take on board that energy and trust it, then again, great things can happen. Um, 
So I do feel like this is investing in yourself or allowing people to invest in you. There's also the element of asking for help. Maybe it is that you're going to need to go to the bank and ask for a loan or you might want to um, you might want to do something but it's going to free up you know makes that you're not available for work as much so you might need a little bit of support it could even be you know help uh, with childcare or just you know getting some sort of help from someone so that you can enhance your life or do something that you want to do but i do feel Again, this is a really supportive energy. I would say one of the downsides to the Hanged Man card is if you do feel comfortable, there's the idea that you would stay there forever and never have that transformation take place. Remember yesterday's cards. If you didn't see that, go and have a look. They were the Five of Swords and the Moon. And I was talking about being stuck in your head. So, you know, that, that's just a little bit of a, a negative tendency that you can see with the hanged man. And I feel like this is such a loving, kind, nurturing energy with this new moon. And it's really, really pushing everybody to, to be to that, go to that place where you know you're going to be living a, a better life or a higher version of yourself. Um, so the support is there, definitely, and things are going to change, but they're not going to happen yet. You've got a few bits and jobs and things to put in place soon, so first. So I hope that helps. I hope whatever you're doing, you have a lovely day today and enjoy some time gazing up at, I know you can't see the moon, but like I say, it's always there, um, sending down its energy to us. Okay, have a wonderful day. I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.